Peasy peasy. There you go. Nice little switchbacks there. Lovely. Well, this time we're on a Mozza quest. And actually, I don't know. That's why I'm coming on this mission. I don't know if there's any Mozzas at Force Forge. Force Mills. Or Stony has a pace. Oh, concentrate now. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention. Yes. That was a bit ticklish. So, just down here at Spark Bridge, beginning what I'd call the annual Mozza hunt. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's Mozzas at Spark Bridge, Nipfwait, Force Mills, and uh, oh, what the hell's the word of it? Hazel, Stony Hazel Forge. So that's what I'm doing. I'm here at Spark Bridge, and I'm quite certain I recall. Mozza's here from a visit some uh, some years ago when the water was low. It's, it's what is it now? It's just the end of March, beginning of April. So, so the river water levels are still quite high. So I will, or maybe less visible. But let's see what we've got. Yes, all this here is ironiferous. Now we're with forgers here. I don't know the history of it off the top of my head but I'll put a page up with a little bit of background uh, detail history on this. Yes all this is iron. Iron waste. The sun comes out it might actually spark it up a little bit make it more visible. Of course I don't know if you can see through the glare of the water on the camera lens. There's a lot of iron material there. And like I say, when I, when I was here last, a couple of years ago, let's say it was a height or late summer and the water level was much lower, you could see much more of it. And I think all this stuff in the in the water here is sort of Mozza, Mozza type material. Mozza-esque, perhaps. water lower to see it properly but there's definitely here definitely iron material lots of clunker slag and mosses how about that then just by the village hall here it's a mozza a mozza a mozza a mozza a mozza, a mozza, a mozza, a mozza. So I'm over on this wall here as well, look. Yeah. At Spark Bridge still. There's my bike up there. And the bridge. Down there. Mozza, 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 mozza. Ah, mozza, mozza. Mozza, mozza there, look. You can see underneath the dome, as it were. There's a nice juicy one, and another, I think that's it. Just by the Royal Oak pub, there's a mozza on the wall there. And then just uphill from the Royal Oak, there's a little street of cottages. And there's a few more down here. Yeah, just beyond those cottages, there's a row of mozzas on the wall there. Can you see them? There's maybe a dozen there. And it seems to uh, be no more. Here's another view of those ones just by those cottages. Bobbin Cottage. By the wheelie bins <laughs> and everything. Mozzas galore. Well, let's see. A dozen or twenty. So nice and tranquil here. Just for River Crake. 
wending its way down to Penny Bridge. Beautiful. Right, I'll move on to Nipthwaite. Just up there, you see, there's a charcoal burner's mound. And it's places such as this that would have produced the charcoal for furnaces. Now it sort of looks like there's a step up here to it. I don't know if it's just accidental wall collapse or whether it was indeed a deliberate little footway up to that uh, charcoal burner's plinth where they created a flat area, excavated from the hillside and the debris formed a plateau upon which they could build their traditional sort of, uh, what do you call it, pudding shaped burning stacks with all the material that was round about and you often see these hereabouts you know quite prolific because that was a big charcoal industry supplying material to the furnaces so, stuff you see in the country of mozzers. Can you see that? Absolutely loads. Right. Hi there. You see this uh, mollusk shape again. Convex. All along this wall here. A lovely little letterbox. You see that? Isn't that sweet? That's so bonny and tinky. <laughs> That's just marvellous. Saw one that did the on Anglesey at Church Bay. Just uh, by the top there. Yeah, mozzers. Yeah, loads of them all along the walls here. Yeah. Although Nibthwaite Furnace was relatively short lived, I think it was started by a chap called Ford who went on to partner up with Harrison and Ainsley at. Uh, Newland Furnace. Hiya. Hello there. Yeah. And this one, uh, yeah. like I say, 
they moved on, shall we say. But now, now we'll be going up over the fell to uh, Ickenthwaite and down to Force Mills and Force Forge and then to Stony Hazel to see if there's any mozzers there. We've got a county of stock, haven't we, every year? Check all the mozzers are in, in, the, uh, in the home field, so to speak. It's actually quite a nice view since they have uh, cleared all this forestry here. Looking back down to Nibthwaite and over to Lowick. Opens up quite nice. Oh, if you look over there, you can see the Kark, Kartmel Peninsula. I'm sure that's Holka there, beyond the sands. And then beyond the sands beyond, there's Hesham Power Station. Yeah, this is Ickenfwaite or Bessica more, Bethica. And we're heading over to uh, Force Mills and Force Forge on the Great Mozza Hunt. I remember there being some hugely deep puddles and the farmer doesn't like you going off the track and on the grass alongside so this isn't a big one there's bigger ones than this. That's why I'm wearing wellies today. In anticipation of this. Oh, there's no bloody big rocks under there that you can't see. You see the water's murky, someone's been through recent. This is an official uh, green road, road used as public path, 
public byway, whatever the current uh, terminology is. And of course on the old free wind. Reasonably adequate for ventures such as this. And I've got knobbly tyres on as well. Rock step me whoa oh look this is where Poppet and I stopped with our bicycles last summer when we were camping with the with the turquoise dragonfly cotton grass is gone it'll be back though stay boy Oh, the puddles were much better than I expected. I don't think there's any puddles on this next section. But if you get here in the wet, uh, you know, those puddles can be quite oceanic. <laughs> That'll stay. signs up everywhere. See a bridleway, bicycleway and footpath to Abbott Park Farm which is the way we came up on that bicycle expedition. <sighs> right, awkward start on a steep hill. And onto the foot pegs. Yes. There's a good puddle down there. I'm not scared. It's only a wee one. I was expecting much worse than that. Puddles that you could have put a, a little sailing boat fleet on and held a regatta was what I was thinking of. But nevertheless, there could be a lurking rock beneath the waters. You just have to trust in blind faith. Oh, I can see into that one. So this puddle hasn't been disturbed for a while. Whee! Oh, curbs and pipes. Beautiful, isn't it? Sort of post-winter visibility where the bracken isn't thick and view obscuring, nor are the trees. You can see the landscape more clearly. The ruggedness, I suppose. Oh, it looks a bit ticklish, doesn't it? Some of those curbs there. Bloody hell. Way. Astounding. I often say to myself, and indeed to pop it when we're out and about walking or cycling, how blinking lucky we are to live in a place like this, you know. 
where every new vista is just a, 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 an eyeful treat. Eyeful. Eyeful of beauty. Hardly needed me wellies at all for them puddles. Oh, there's a complete coming into view. Yeah, I don't like to hair it down trails, I like to treat it more like it was trials riding, where you're just tick tock ticking over little rocks and obstacles. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this looks a bit technical. I came down here on the bike last summer, didn't I? So, no worries. No worries at all. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Nice little switchbacks there. Lovely. They can fight a hoy. <laughs> well, this time we're on a Mozza quest. Yeah, so we've got Mozzas at uh, Spark Bridge. We've got hordes of Mozzas at Nifuito. Loads of mozzas at Nibthwaite. And actually, I don't know, that's why I'm coming on this mission. I don't know if there's any mozzas at Force Forge, Force Mills, or Stony has eight. Wow, concentrate now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay attention. Yes. That was a bit ticklish. Mighty free wind. To be fair, it's a bit high geared for some tricky work, you know, because it's more of a urban trail road, road bike. And it's not even a proper dual purpose in that context, but but the basis of it is the DR650 engine. chassis might be something quite similar of I wouldn't know technically speaking here we are and I've just got to park in such a way as the bike won't roll off the, the side stand how can I do this probably have to turn it round to be fair oh. See what happens. How does she lie? Oh, there's a bit of rock under that, I think. Roll in all directions. Deary me, oh, yes, that's got her. Oh, getting hot now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is, is that monkey business or donkey business? <laughs> Something you don't see every day. <laughs> Sorry kids, any, any kids are watching this? That's nature for you. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. Remarkable. <laughs> Just at that moment as well. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, delightful. I'll park this up somewhere. Then they're good. There we go. Right. Phew, get me. Oh, get down. Honestly, if that was a bit of footage you wanted to catch, you could wait out for days, couldn't you, in a hide? And still not go home with the clip that you wanted. And there's me, just turning up at the gate, and there it was. <laughs> okay. Need some cool air on me now, that was warm work. overdressed really because uh, you know temperatures can get down to about eight degrees so put on good clothing and was also expecting to get wet in tremendous puddles but they weren't there not that I'm moaning not that I'm moaning that was good Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautiful. And here we are in the Rusland Valley, having just come over from Nibthwaite in the Crake Valley. There are three wind just chuffing away like a good little mule. A footpath. Look, I've not done that one before. I'm going to explore that one of these days. That's the other thing about getting out in little lanes and things. You see, you see footpaths, which spark ideas for further expeditions. And you think, ah, oh, I've not done that one before. Maybe come back and do it. Right, we're nearly at uh, Force Forge now. So, I'm keeping the eyes peeled for mozzers on walls. None here, it seems. Not yet, anyway. Let's get a bit closer. This is Force Forge. No, I'm not seeing mozzers. I'm not seeing mozzers. At all. I'll come back past this slowly the other way in a minute. No, Force Forge looks like no mozzers, so just quickly on the Force Mills.
more smells. seeing any mozzles here either. No, I am not. Not seeing mozzles. I'm quite surprised, but I thought there would be. I'll tell you what, seeing as I'm here, why don't I nip down that other green lane, down the stony hazel? That makes sense, doesn't it? public way. This goes down the Russellham Church. Again, beautiful woodland. Lodges. Don't know about those. Oh. This will take me right down the stony hazel. Sort of autumn-esque, although it's not autumn, it's the beginning of spring, but you know what I mean, everything's sort of brown. Autumnal. Switch it off and put it in gear. Looks pretty good. If it was any steeper, I'd switch it off and pop it in gear so it acts like a handbrake. Phew. Tree down. And the gate stay. Beauty. Look at this magnificent machine now. The Go Anywhere bike. I use it every day without exception. For going to work and back during the winter. Now oh, what? I might have to switch it off here. I think I will. It'll be safe. Leave it in gear so she doesn't run away. Yes, uh, the Mighty Free Wind was once the, uh, the top dog in the pack, you know, the newest bike at one point. And as these things go, and not to impugn the marvellous machine, but as other machines get acquired, then they fall down in the ranking, so to speak, don't they? And this has, for the last, oh, maybe ten years, sort of become the... Uh, the winter machine. It's always been the trail machine, of course. Oh. What do I have to choke on for? Idiot. Huh. Nice little trail, this. Just sweet. Not technical. Relaxing. Relaxing. Enchanting. Enchanting trail. Tree 
Ja, that, no problem. I don't know if a Land Rover might struggle, that kind of thing. sufficient ground clearance to clear most sort of uh, average obstacles, shall we say. That's the road, look. There be a road. Oh! Oh, yeah, stopped. I'm not sure. There be the highway. Oh. Phew! Dear me. Well, I think my head cam just switched off, timed out at uh, just as I was going through that last gate and coming down to the road. So here we are at uh, Stony Hazel. And I've walked up and down the road, both directions. And there are no signs of mozzers in the boundary wall. That's not to say there aren't mozzers at the site itself. But it's already been a long day for me, and uh, I'll make going to the furnace itself the subject of a, another expedition. But uh, certainly, at most furnaces, you know, if they've had prodigious output, you'll find mozzers all along the road walls as well, you know, where they thought, what can we do with these bloody things? Oh, I know, we'll put them on the walls, <laughs> sort of thing. But that's not the case here. That didn't appear to be the case at uh, Force Forge, but like I say, I came back down the the, uh, the green lane, so now I'm back on the road, I'll just whip round to Force Forge again and just have a close scrutiny along the, the opposite side of the road to which I went in on, because I've done a sort of a bit of a loop back on myself. So, unless you hear from me again, or I put up a little note in the video, let's take it that there are no mozzers at Force Forge. Unless I find something in a few minutes or so, you know. Just have a cup of tea. Been a good day though. I've enjoyed it. It's dry, warm. Two green lanes. And the soundscape down here. Just the birds cheeping the joys of the onset of spring. It's just delightful. Like I say, privileged and honoured to live in this neck of the woods. It's great. Okay, so if I don't pull up something in a few minutes from 
force mills then I'll say thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a boring subject, mozzers and stuff, but you know. <laughs> thanks for watching.